Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. A lot of people are asking me, you know, this is the future of radio and this is how radio is going to be in the future. Um, you know, my take on this is that there's two categories of people. People that love all technology of, you know, radios and knobs and having a big old uh, receiver with, you know, just a frequency display and buttons and that's what they like and I, I think that that is a, a big part of the the hobby basically um, they like radios that have knobs and buttons and that's fine I, I mean we can't one of the problems I have with a lot of people is that they are extreme they are well you know with SDR why the hell are you buying portable radios or desktop receivers uh, because some people like that that's it SDRs are great. I am part of those that like SDRs. I gotta say, I'm amazed by this little thing. I'm amazed by this little thing. But not everybody's amazed by this. Not everybody's gonna go out and want to have something like this. And it has to do with all sorts of different reasons. One is uh, some people like, you know, good old radios, don't like to have computerized stuff. Although, modern radios are kind of computers inside still they are and they look and they feel like radios and those are like SDRs like I do like this but this is not going to replace my Texan PL990X um, it's like the internet it's going to be a complement it's going to be something like an add-on this is part of the future and it's really cool to have something like this I mean when I started my hobby, you would have told me I would have something like this that I hold in my hand. And I would have told you, get out of here. But that's the way it is, you know? It's fun to tune around. And this is Shannon Vomit in uh, Ireland. This thing is very sensitive. I mean, I'm using the MLA 30 outdoors right now. It's like overly sensitive because there's a little overload in signal sometimes because of the signals. Um, some of you have been asking me to, because this is the demo software, and unfortunately, I can't upgrade my USB. The USB here doesn't work at all in any way. It doesn't detect on the computer. It that's why I probably wasn't charging. There's something wrong with it, uh, and I bypassed it with this cable here. But this cable is just power. It's not anything else. Um, but I won't go through the uh, basics of this non-upgraded Chinese clone of the Russian one. I'll be. Uh, you know, I, I will say one thing, because there's a lot of, uh, I mean, you know, there's Chinese bashing and all of that. I will call this the Chinese, the Chinese version of a receiver, because it's based on a, a chip, and I will not call it a clone of a Russian one, 
There's a Russian one, there's a Chinese one. I'd rather talk about it in that way. This is the Chinese version, and that's it. As for the rest, you know, um, still nice. Um, and I'll have a video talking about what I think of this, because a lot of the bad reputation of the Chinese versions are all based on the cheapest one, the $74 one, which is not this at all. This version is more expensive. It also is much better. Yes, I had my problems, and I will agree with you when you say that. But when you got a good working version of this, it's as good as the Russian one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't have a Russian one to test it against, but I have a lot of YouTube videos and links of articles where both are tested. The more expensive Chinese one is as good as the Russian one. That's what I know. Now, the rest is, you know, I understand that people want to buy the one that's, you know, from Russia, from George, the guy from Russia. And that's fine. It, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's fun to, you know, help out. But, um, very interesting receiver, all I got to say. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.